good morning. It's 9.36. We're gonna go eat. Look, look who it is. He's got a hat on. Yeah. So we have a day planned. We're gonna go eat something because my stomach is hungry. We're gonna go see dead people. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to, um, we're going to Bonaventure to hang out for- Bonaventure? Bonaventure. What is it? Is it Bonaventure or Bonaventure? Does anybody know? Um, anyway, so that's what we're planning. I have shorts on. I never wear shorts. Of course, it's 73 degrees out right now and I'm freezing. Yesterday at this time it was a lot warmer, so hopefully it warms up. Degrees. It's not warm. You're cold. It's not warm. It's a little bit nippy that. out. It feels a little chilly to me actually too. Yeah, see? I'm making fun of me. I'm making fun of you. And no makeup today. There's just no time for that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop here and eat somewhere. I think I might end up having to drive. Cause I hey, mean, we're starting our day should with a cold hand on my leg. Should be nice. Man, why am I dizzy? Look at. See all that room? That's what I'm talking about. He's <laughs> busy trying to console you. I don't need consoling. Yes, you do. I'm not a baby. It's very green, and I was just telling him it seems Fire ants. overgrown. Careful. Ooh, lots of ants. Of course, they probably would go after you before they go after me. <sighs> my mom used to tell me the reason I don't really get bit by mosquitoes is because they don't like the taste of my skin. <laughs> so we went to breakfast at IHOP, and I met one of my YouTube and Instagram friends, Brenda. So Brenda, if you're watching, hello. It was very nice to meet you. Brenda and I actually live pretty close to each other, so. But it was very nice to meet you. It's nice outside. I love the trees. You guys know how much I like trees. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh look, I told you guys I have shorts on. I actually had a different color um, pair of shorts on. I had those red ones on that I got from the thrift store, but I changed them. So far, he says he's already gotten bit by fire ants. Mike six, Felicia zero. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one, if you come here, we're shows. Yeah. This is a memorial for veterans of world wars. They served for God and country to promote peace and goodwill on earth. Check that fence out. That is an old, what is that, wrought iron you said? Yeah, it has to be. Look at that. So pretty. That looks old. John P. Wheaton, 
Born 1822, died 1898. I thought that was broken stuff. That's a helmet. Yeah. Looks like a belt too, maybe, huh? I want a big headstone like that. Better um, start saving now. I think I'm going to get some cardboard and <laughs> a pole <laughs> of a mop that I cut in half. Nice. Wow, look at that. I don't know why, but I always feel weird stepping over these. Most of the time I don't. I feel like it's a bit intrusive as I do it. That's beautiful. Heirs together of the grace of life. Looks like a storm came through, doesn't it? Have been down here since the hurricane? No. I haven't. I haven't been here in a while. This tore up. It does. Oh. Jeez, three little kids. That one was two. Oh, I see. So their names are on this stone, and then their initials, where they're buried, are on their headstones. For anyone that's ever seen uh, a movie called Zombie, a Lucio, Lucio Fulci, this kind of reminds me, the landscape here kind of reminds me of that movie. That's a pretty, pretty uh, unique name. Yeah, I like the font. Pennyman. Can you guys see the font? I like that. That really sounds English, doesn't it? It does. Oh wow, check these out. He just got, he just got bit again. Feel better? Yeah, man. Look at the mini. Someone's representing my homeland. Look how cute. So he goes up and looks in there, comes back and tells me there's a dead guy propped up against the wall. <laughs> they ran out of space. Jerk. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty. Papa's sweetheart. You see that out? Right there, the angel. We're back in the car. It's much safer this way. For me. For him. 
The bugs love him. He's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. It says a lot about me. Bugs won't even bite me. <laughs> That's because you're mean and you have a bad attitude. That's right, I have a bad attitude. What about my dad? My dad doesn't get bit by bugs either. He's the nicest person in the world. He is now. <laughs> my dad has always been a nice person. Right. Shut it. I'm telling him. You can tell him. I'm gonna. I don't think I ever showed you guys how narrow this street is. This is the road leading to the cemetery. See how narrow? Oh my god, I thought that was a hearse. It is a hearse. That's oh, a hearse. It's a hearse tour. <laughs> I was gonna say. We're in an antique shop now downtown. Like an antique slash thrift store. And they've got some really cool stuff. What are these? Just regular antique photos. I love coming in here. They always have like the coolest stuff. I like the idea of having old glasses, but I just wouldn't know what to do with them other than display them. I guess that's what you would do with those, right? <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that one. Uh-oh. You guys know I'm gonna have a problem, right? Look. It's an old knife, butter knife. Look at how pretty. France. Let's see. Is there a year? Nope. I told Mike if he got this for me, we'd save about $200. Look at this old KitchenAid. Look at that. Nineteen forties era. This is a beautiful square. I wish I would have turned my camera on sooner. Actually, when we walk back this way, I will turn it on. Apparently, lots of people like to take pictures here. I'll check that out on our way back. We're going to a bookstore over here. Look at how beautiful. It's busy out, huh? Where are you going? I guess we're cutting across. It's Gallery Espresso. God, motorcycles are so obnoxiously loud. No Look, it's the there. Six Pence Pub. It is. We should go in there. And we'll, it'll be like we're in the UK, right? Right. We're in Britain. There's a ton of places to be. Oh, yeah. We come down here every day for like a year straight and not even put a dent in it. So, I stayed, that's where I stayed at the hotel when we had our meeting. Really? Yeah, right there. He lives here. There's the book lady. He lives here and he had to stay in a hotel downtown <laughs> for a meeting. How does that make any sense? With a bunch of dudes. Are they open? They look open. 
Let's check it out. Wait, is this it? Here it is. Look. All right, I'll go ahead of, or you go ahead of me. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I love the smell of books. Hi. Pub. And their menu has awesome stuff on it. My eyes are like really blurry and I can't tell if it's me or the camera. Alright, so let's see if I can do this again. Starters, oh my gosh. I need read I know I need reading glasses now. I can't even get close to this. You're old. I know. And then soups and salads. And then this is where I start to have problems. Shepherd's pie is awesome. Open face roast beef, bangers and mash. You know what you want? I think so. Pork roast, ten tender pot roast. What are you getting? Headache because I'm hungry. What? Headache because I'm hungry. Oh, and crankiness, obviously. What are you getting? I'm gonna get the uh, shake crab soup. Yeah. And the sandwich. Oh, you're gonna do a soup and sandwich? Look at this place, you guys. It's amazing. I wanted to film when we first walked in, but there were people, and I don't know how people feel about being filmed, so. It's very nice. It's very, it's very Scottish. <laughs> I know, I'm just being funny. I just like saying it like that. Do you know, believe it or not, I have a lot of English and or Scottish people that come into work. Mm -hmm. You can tell the difference, right, between them? Sure. So the ones that are Scottish, I go, you from England? <laughs> oh, man, they get pissed. Oh, they get so pissed. Mm -hmm. And the English people, when I say, you from Scotland or Ireland, <laughs> they get offended. I know what I want. Um, I'm going to do the Plowman's lunch. Which soup are you wanting? French onion, what was the other one? Sheet crab and chicken and wild rice. I will do that one. The chicken and wild rice. And with your salad, you want ranch dressing, cheese, balsamic vinaigrette. That one. Hi, how are y'all? Why are you laughing at me? You're so confusing sometimes. Shut up. But she knew what you wanted. Well, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the soup and sandwich. Get the crab soup and a roast beef sandwich, please. On white wheat rye or pumpkin. White wheat. Everything on the sandwich, okay? Uh, Lettuce, tomato, red onion, and mayonnaise. I'm in. I can't believe we've never been here before. Thank you. Anyway, my husband, the douchebag. This is a. You're mean, and you have a bad attitude, lady. <laughs> I was told by a co worker that I'm mean, but she didn't mean it in a bad way. What she meant was, she said that sometimes she wished I worked day shift so that I could deal with some of the people and situations that they don't want to have to deal with because I don't, I tend not to put up with people's crap. So mean. So that means I'm mean. But not in a bad way? Yeah. How's that quite work out? You know, the Nazis were evil, but not in a bad way. I'm not killing people, Stooge. I know. I'm, I'm, not hey, stop being mean, will ya? <laughs> hey, look what I got. I have a little head. Yeah, you do. I'm finally gonna read this. We've only lived here for two years and I haven't read it yet. Anyway, I'm excited about my food. That, I didn't actually want that plowman's lunch, but he was rushing me, so. What? Yeah. What? He, you guys heard him. I'm getting what? a headache. Wait. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with something I didn't really want, but I'm gonna eat it. Same way you feel about our marriage. 
I need the health insurance. That's great. I only married you because I got you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doctor was surprised even. He's like, you're what? Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, I want a beer. Do you? Yeah. You want a point? I might. Oh, yeah? You were dizzier when we got down here. I know. If I drink I that, mean, I won't be able to walk to the car. <laughs> I'll have to get one of the guys on the uh, pedal bikes to take us back to the car. I never, ever drink. I could take three sips of a beer and feel it in my arms and in my chest because I don't drink. But we've changed a lot since we first met. Yeah, we used to drink a lot. Lots. Well, some more than others. Whatever. I don't hardly drink anymore. As a matter of fact, I can't remember the last Actually, time. I'm pretty sure you drank more. You just drank those two dollar bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come home and there was always a different bottle of strawberry Zinfandel. Or yeah, shit. he didn't. He didn't like that. He's dollar, like, we don't drink in the house. Dollar ninety nine a bottle. He said we don't drink in the house, so I went to the garage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's my plowman's lunch. The soup There's a excellent. lot of food. That is a big old onion. And there's a hunk of it's cheese. A pickled onion. Yeah, pickled onion. So oh, you're eating that cheese. And and what it, you better put it back. I'm gonna take a bite of that. <laughs> what is that? Just American cheese. You have like they, Shut it down. They imported it from England. I appreciate I know. it. What is it? It's a roast beef sandwich and she crab soup. Shit crab soup. <laughs> so she ate her lunch like a ravenous wolf. <laughs> I came back in and told her not to uh... overeat. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. And I wish I had. I told her we can come back tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be part two of the video. <laughs> so I will take that away so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Get rid of that. There we go. If you try to get it again. So we just finished or we just left what six pence? Six pence pub. Six pence pub. And we are walking back this way. We're gonna check and see if the olfactory company is open because they were closed. Which yeah, it's very well, that's frustrating. Oval oh, James Edward. Yeah, he's pretty much the one who found it. So they added this section onto my favorite store. This is the olfactory company and this is the strange and unusual room. So we are home now, and I am in my typical home uniform. That's right, pajamas. The air is on in the house, so as soon as we came in from outside, I got cold immediately. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got today. You saw the book, but we went into that um, the olfactory company, <clears throat> and I was telling you guys how they have that back section now. 
they have the coolest stuff in there. So I got this little crossbody bag. Can you s look at that? I, I just I think it's very cool. The store owner told me that these bags are made by a couple in Ireland. Uh, Baba Studio. I'm gonna Google that. But this little bag was not cheap. But I really like that store, and it's a local business and. I do a lot of shopping in chain stores like Walmart and Target, so, you know, little stores need some love too. Typically, I find that small stores like that are rather expensive, but they kind of have to be. So anyway, it's a crossbody, and this little bag was $32, which, like I said again, that's, that's quite a lot, but I have not bought a bag. Well, actually, my book bag I bought from that store. That was the last bag I bought, it was my backpack for work. And so I decided to get this one today. And then uh, I got the book, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, and this is also from a local business downtown. And then when we went to Six Pence Pub, my husband asked the lady who was serving us if they sold t their t-shirts, and so he got me a t-shirt. So here's the front of the t-shirt. And then here is the back. And I just love it. I think it's pretty awesome. So anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.